My name is Uma Mohammed. I started with Kusora about 10 years back as a script writer. Initially, we don't really know anything about this project, but we were trained by Africa Radio Drama Association as script writer. Uh, script writers, me and my colleagues, as uh, actually I got fascinated with uh, the development work. I love helping people, and then when I see this uh, project and it's all about youth, I got excited. So, yeah, but I'm also a script writer trained by both JHU and the Africa Radio Drama Association. It was very interesting. In fact, uh, the experiences we brought because we also acted in the dramas. We were opportune to write the latest uh, Burina. That, that was one that was launched and you know, it was all about positive spousal communication. This is really interesting. I had my first baby and then there's another second one. So you learn many things. It's as if you are writing some things about yourself and at times you see things that are happening to people living close to you and then you write it. So it's like you are just writing the story all over. Maybe you have seen it, uh, you have experienced it, and then it's uh, positive things to all other women. And most of it is still life experience because at times when you see the spouses, some young people, they just got married now at this, but they don't know what the marriage is really all about. It's after they go in that they began to realize, oh, it's not all a bed of roses. You have to live up to some responsibilities. Like me, when I got married, I was still in the best years. And then when I graduated, I decided to come back to Kusorara and volunteer for a year. Then I was even opportune to be trained as a master trainer with this uh, youth action kit. So I facilitated the, uh, a lot of step-down trainings. The listeners' slope were initiated since from the beginning of the program. You know, after the project started off or took off, we have so many radio programs, and we're using the inter-educative uh, education technique to pass messages across. That is about uh, RH and other issues that are under RH. So how do we get back the responses of those people? How do we know that our program is making an impact? By so doing, we have to form these listeners' clubs. There are women at home, and you know, radio is one of the most oldest uh, information center that people normally get information from. You find a farmer in the farm using a radio, maybe a housewife cooking in the kitchen, and then she has her radio here. So by so doing, when people learn about this program, they, they started listening. So we want to get feedback from them. How is our program, pro, program or project impacting on their lives? So to get back to us, then they form this listeners club. They listen at the end of the week and then they give us their responses, maybe some through letters or phone calls or things like that. That was how the listeners clubs were formed. When you give them, when they want to listen, they have all these materials, or maybe if they are interested in learning things about family planning, or maybe just uh, things that has to do with uh, the RH and everything, we have materials. They can go back to these leaflets or the materials, check what they want to see, and then disseminate the knowledge. And there's also the uh, health centers, that's the hospitals and the basic health posts that we normally refer them to. So when, if they have problems that, has, that are health-wise, we send them to these clinics and they go to that clinic to get the basic information. Or if there's any services that they need, these clinics give them. You know, when you're doing things about youth and you're touching aspects of their life maybe that they don't have much information about and you're giving them this information, you know, people will tend to patronize it more than... We have other projects that are doing things on adolescents, but Kusora is very, very popular among youths. You know, at a point when during the road shows, there are times that they are sharing these T-shirts, hijabs, pickups, and all other IEC materials. So they got interested about all these things. And even some, even me, when I started with Kusora, I never really knew that I was going to be a writer, and now I can write. A drama, you see it as real life because most of the things that we're doing about all these problems that are being identified in the area are the ones, uh, are the things that are happening to the society. You know, in our society, at times you cannot come out and uh, 
talk about some things openly because we have this uh, shyness and then there's our religion that guides us that guides us so at times you have to be careful when you are writing know what to write and even when you are translating because i'm also a translator i translate scripts maybe from english to hausa or hausa to english so you have to be very very careful with the kind of language you use in addressing some specific issues that are very sensitive like maybe the family planning uh, issue and then other things the issues maybe that has to do with youth or maybe we want to talk about sex or things like that or abortion you have to be very careful and know the kind of language that you use so it's really challenging the letters uh, ks letters film does one of the areas are most important uh, i think to me topic that was discussed today is positive spiral communication at times it's not the love you have to face challenges so maybe one or two things maybe you want to talk to your husband about something and then you are shy or maybe you are afraid that he's going to get angry or things like that so when i was really writing it it's fun yes yeah, let's have something for a change most of these things that were treated in the ks project both from phase one to date if i have not been opportune to be with so that maybe i wouldn't have known anything about it really it has impacted positively on my life and it has even changed my ways and perceptions of saying things it, it is like so that is now in every household yes because we have uh, programs that are aired every week we have this latest uh, bright friend that's one one we listen to and at least for 10 years we've been doing one thing people will ha- must have known that this is what Kusaudara is all about and this is what they do. And at least you know that even if it is one or two people, you must have touched or changed their lives in one way or the other. So it's really an achievement. Through this uh, project, we've been opportunity to be in so many places. We've been to Abuja, Lagos, Kano, Jigawa, all these uh, states. And then when you go to all these places, you meet people and then you get to learn of their views. You see many things. You see way of lives. And you get gain new experience that you don't even have before. So it's very, really, very really interesting. Uh, so that I start small and then now so that is all over. Though so that I are living, but the, the so that legacy will still be behind. And people that are not opportunity to know so that even as, it, as, as at last 10 years back be able to know it even in future even when you go to libraries or other things to find our materials or other organization or hospitals and you can be able to use them to impact positively on your life most of the things that we saw that is doing is for the youth and this youth some of them doesn't have the basic knowledge of rh or how to go about uh, going uh, how to go about their daily lives not that they don't know but they need to be guided. They need to have a medium, a channel where their voices matters, where they can come, exchange their views, and then allow allow uh, get get basic information about their lives. So where they will come and feel safe. So that is really important, and I think it will be very good and will impact positively on youth's life.